Madam Speaker, since President Biden took office, gas prices are up 60 percent. Natural gas prices are up 25 percent. Coal prices are up 70 percent. And electricity prices are up 24 percent. This should raise alarms on the other side of the aisle. And I don't mean pulling fire alarms. This should just get the attention of the other side. H.R. 4364 restores American energy dominance. It invests in our national security and delivers fiscal responsibility for the American taxpayer. As a Navy veteran, I'm proud to support H.R. 4394, which provides $32.51 billion in defense spending. That's an increase of more than $1 billion over FY23 enacted levels. This legislation continues efforts to modernize the nation's nuclear weapons stockpile, supports Columbia-class submarine reactor development, and helps counter our adversaries. Additionally, H.R. 4394 prioritizes energy security and economic competitiveness by investing $200 million in critical mineral production and supporting domestic uranium enrich enrichment capabilities. Finally, this legislation rescinds $5.58 billion of absolutely reckless spending that was wasted by the previous majority. It terminates Biden's Waters of the United States rule, and it cuts the dangerous, radical, extreme Green New Deal programs. Madam Speaker, additionally, H.R. 4364 ensures that members of Congress can address the needs of their constituents while prioritizing deficit reduction. H.R. 4364 reduces spending by 4.5 percent, provides Capitol Police officers with an increase of $46 million over last year, and protects House networks by banning the purchase of telecommunications equipment made in China. As we work to pass single-subject appropriations bills, I'm proud to support the underlying legislation which upholds the House Republicans' commitment to the American people. I urge my colleagues to support this rule, and I reserve the balance of my time.